Hi guys, C-H-A-D-Dolium, <laughs> can't get enough right. We have our own package. There is the GitHub from C-H-D-D-L-M, on which we built, of course, changed a few things, but there is something else. When you do Ctrl T, L-E-A-C-H-D-W-M, there is something called Oh my God, Def Guy on a f, right? The first line or in stat number three. So what I did as well after developing actually ours is compare with anything I find online and anything. And this is something that's interesting because basically the i3 that you're using now has been developed over the period of three years, going to Ubuntu and Tergos and so on and so on. And all you need to do is look on the internet, what did people share? So this is the default, this is the, pro the developer. But from there, people have visions, right? Like this guy has his own vision, he has his own settings, his own themes, I don't know, his own stuff, right? So you, can compare contents of others with yours. And that's what I did afterwards to see if anything useful was there, code that I wanted or not wanted. And it can be, I, I know, complex, right? It can be complex, but it's part of, um, yeah, venturing your way in DWM. It is not for the faint of heart, right? I believe they say on the website something funny suckless.org that's where you need to be somewhere there's a the philosophy i think it was something somewhere like it this is this is um i don't know there was something funny but oh yeah software that sucks less right sucks less but there was also something else i think focus on simplicity clarity and frugality or fun all right so it's important and you know this is where everything coming from and chdwm is a fork from it so, um, yeah, so go have a look at all the possible things. And now I did GitHub. Don't forget to have a look at GitLab as well, right? At some point in time, we remember GitHub was bought by Microsoft and everybody jumped ship and went to GitLab. Okay, well, not everybody, because I'm still there, right? But you can find more stuff online and learn from what's online. That's basically my message. In the meantime, number three, can we build it? So you see immediately this one as well. So if the package build is okay, cool, right? If the package is not okay, go online, go to an AOR and tell the guy, uh, please could you take a look at the configuration because that's a problem. Now, I don't know what's on my machine and I, I hate not knowing what's on my machine. With PAMEC Super Shift D, I can have my first look. And it's a graphical look. I prefer to go this way rather than go in the terminal. And we have to maintain it. So this is not PAMEC from AOR. This is our Arclex PAMEC, all, right? So we have to maintain it anyway. So I have to check if everything works still. So that's cool. So it's actually an opt. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to know. So the file system, there's an all com there's all kind of reasoning behind all these uh, files, and I explained it in another video. But here it is. Aha! Uh -huh. So the actual configuration, if we want to make and sudo make install and all that, if you want to change stuff, it's here. Is it then also here in the dot config? Mm, no, right? No. The this one is here. So if you want to play around, you want to play around, probably want to play around, right? Then you actually should copy paste this whole thing. Better take the folder, Control C, and put it where you're supposed to do it. Maybe next to this one, right? Control V, and you have. Well, access because LL is yours. Eric, 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 right? Here I can do some stuff. 
And then you can have a look again. My first reflex is compare strange, right? Okay, same. I can delete this one. And if I go in here, immediately let's change something, something obvious, for example, close tab, close window, close window. Something obvious, show bar, top bar. So he's showing it at the top bar at the bottom, right? Top bar, bottom, bottom, oh my, whoa. So I'm gonna say one rather than at the bottom to the top. This shows that I've changed something and that we're gonna build it now. So this one, one level up, two levels up, this one next to it, and you compare these two guys. I haven't done that and eh? compare with melt. Make, so you can make install. Well, now is there XD, is there a desktop? Because you wanna see, you wanna log out, but um, it's called DWM. The executable, right? The application is DWM. But do I see a dot desktop file for SEDM, for LITM, LXDM, LIE? No. So before you log out, you better go to file system, user, share, accessions, and right mouse click, become in control, root. And the blue one is important, that one can go. This one, control C, control V, tell them that this is gonna be DWM, because basically it will execute DWM and change everywhere stuff that you need. So here, execute, executable, if you wanna see uh, which, often I see people write the whole um, path. It's actually not required, I think, but hey, um, let's do just the same as everybody else. Safe. This can't be misunderstood. There, 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 run, right? Check. If I press XD, I have now ours, his, and GNOME, right? Super X, logging out. Uh, action. Best think we best reboot. I thought earlier on already that my virtual box seemed a bit sluggish. There'd be something, maybe just a, a reboot of the machine that I need. It's possible as well. Power off. Go up. I'll give you a reboot later. Because I did update without rebooting. Mm -hmm. Maybe, right? Super X, log out. And we go for DWM. And this is another system, right? And I copy paste it. I hope you don't mind, dear developer, but I copy paste these guys because I, I found them rather nice, right? So there's an extra line in ours to show you these, I don't know, matrix-like, Japanese, Chinese-like uh, icons. Please tell me what this is, if you know it, beneath the video. Now, Control t Super Enter, Shift, Enter, Super T, nothing works, right? You got to read the config. What key, key bindings were working? I think Super Shift, Enter, well, uh, Super Shift, Enter was working. And um, well, you need to navigate to wherever you wanna go or you do Tunar. And that's the way to <laughs> go back in here and actually open this and say, what is actually the key binding? And this, as you see, is rounded. Now I'm not, and that's me, I'm not a fan of rounded stuff. It reminds me these days of something else, right? And I, I, I don't like it. 
but if you like it you see what code provides it somewhere control find round i believe i found it somewhere in the code probably and not here as a variable so if you type here ag round you'll see all kinds of code that actually sorts it out says okay this is um, what i want to have no i don't see any setting but there you go so this is another view of things maybe it's your kind of um, application variety is installed i believe because of course without wallpaper this gives a, a wrong impression eh? voila and Compton is not installed I think as well so of, of running by default so super shift enter and then Compton Eric it's PyCam these days PyCam mm, I don't know it's Alacrity I think it's an Alacrity thing uh, that's not transparent yeah probably right super shift D is not there all kinds of key bindings of course of ours that are not in here super F that's there and they go and have a look at all the key bindings that are here and it's created for QWERTY stuff so again those guys need to change but here is um, some stuff and here is why, how I knew I had Allegretti, right? Super, shift, enter. Et voila. That's it for me. Have a look, compare, play, and um, I'm going to reboot. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>